Welcome to our video on the Bedside Mobility Assessment Tool 2.0, or BMAT. In the revised version, we clarify the mobility categories and goals and provide guidance on the most appropriate interventions to help you mobilize your patients earlier and often using a stepped approach. BMAT Assessment Level 1, Sit and Shake. In Level 1, the caregiver is evaluating hemodynamic stability, core strength, and upper extremity strength. Sitting upright promotes fluid volume shift, lung expansion with improved tidal volume, and may help increase stroke volume and cardiac output as fluids shift when the patient moves from a supine to an upright position. Evaluating for hemodynamic stability is the first step in Level 1. Slowly raise the head of the bed to determine if the patient tolerates the upright seated position. Next, the nurse evaluates for core strength and stability by asking the patient to shake their hand. The patient extends their hand across their body, first one hand and then the other. Note the patient's position sitting unsupported. Do they have good strength in one hand or both? If the patient can tolerate the upright position, maintain seated balance, and has some upper extremity strength, they've passed level one and you can proceed. The nurse may elect to perform this activity with the patient sitting upright in the bed, as you see here. This is considered safe mode. Safe mode is an approach or process designed to provide a safer experience for the patient and the care team by utilizing the most appropriate safe patient handling equipment or method. Safe mode does not imply the equipment has a specific safe mode of operation. If no concerns exist with the patient's stability, the nurse may assess the patient sitting at the edge of the bed with their feet flat on the floor. If the patient fails any part of the assessment, they remain a BMAT Level 1 patient and will require the care team to support mobility activities using the most appropriate equipment for the task, such as an overhead or mobile lift for boosting, turning, and supporting upright sitting in a sling. This position may also be used as safe mode in Level 1 assessment to keep the patient safe from falling or sliding off the bed. When the patient passes BMAT Level 1, you may proceed to assessing for BMAT Level 2. BMAT Assessment Level 2 – Stretch In Level 2, we are assessing for lower leg strength that is essential prior to standing and walking. The goal here is to promote circulation, evaluate ankle flexion, and promote muscle activity in the lower legs. The nurse may elect to evaluate level 2 with the patient sitting upright in the bed before proceeding to sitting on the edge of the bed. This activity can be performed in safe mode with the patient upright in a sling at the side of the bed. Now, let's see how level 2 is performed. The caregiver instructs the patient to sit at the side of the bed with feet flat on the floor, stretch the one leg out in front, and then point the toes and flex the ankles. Now, repeat the activity with the other side. This activity helps increase blood flow and oxygen to the brain and may help prevent an orthostatic hypotensive incident as we prepare the patient for standing. If the patient fails any part of the assessment, they remain a BMAT Level 2 patient and will require the care team to support mobility activities using the most appropriate equipment for the task, including overhead and mobile lifts. You may consider introducing strength training in the bed using a friction-reducing sheet or tube, as you see here. You may also want to use a sling to support dangling the patient at the bedside to provide lower leg dependency while building core strength. When the patient passes BMAT Level 1 and 2 assessments, you may proceed to BMAT Level 3. BMAT Assessment Level 3 – Stand In Level 3, we evaluate standing tolerance and the ability to bear weight. The goal is to promote orthostatic tolerance, increase peristaltic activity, and normalize urinary activity. 
The traditional practice of using a gait belt, blocking the knees, and having the patient hold on to the nurse for support is often ineffective in preventing a patient fall or a near-fall experience that may result in injury to both the nurse and the patient. Because of this, we recommend you stand the patient in safe mode, evaluating for standing tolerance using a sit-to-stand lift and vest. The patient may require a walker, crutches, or a cane to assist with standing activity. By using a sit-to-stand lift, you can assess the patient safely. Once upright, check if they are tolerating the position well. If they become lightheaded, unsteady, or an event occurs, the patient will not fall. If the patient fails any part of the assessment, they remain a BMAT Level 3 patient. At this point, the care team should continue use of the lift for standing and strengthening activities in safe mode, including bed-to-chair transfers, toileting, and strengthening the patient through a series of standing tolerance activities. When the patient passes BMAT Level 1, 2, and 3, with or without relying on the equipment for active support, you may proceed to assessing for BMAT Level 4. BMAT Assessment Level 4 Step In Level 4, we are evaluating for balance, weight shifting, and preambulation readiness with the goal of promoting recovery, confidence, and independence. Patients who tolerate standing may still be weak and at risk for a fall, and therefore, Level 4 step should initially be completed in safe mode using lift equipment. Walking within the room or in the hallway is a great way to improve strength prior to discharge. We may need to increase the patient's endurance by having them walk more frequently or for a greater distance each day. Ask the patient to march in place, lifting each leg up and down. Once the patient is comfortable, they can take one step forward and back with one leg and then with the other leg. If the patient is confident at this stage, a walk to the bathroom is an option. Some patients have a fear of falling and may opt to avoid out-of-bed activity. You can help reduce anxiety related to fear of falling by using lift equipment while strengthening and progressing toward discharge. Using the ambulation accessories designed for the Hill Realm Lico lifts helps provide a safer way to support ambulation for your patient. If the patient fails any part of assessment level four, with or without an aid, they are a BMAT level four patient and need continued support to safely strengthen, improve function, and progress to independent ambulation prior to discharge. Independent ambulation can include the use of an aid. As a reminder, we have now taken you through the four levels of the Bedside Mobility Assessment Tool 2.0. The BMAT is a validated nursing assessment tool that can help you identify patient weakness and prompt the care team to select the most appropriate equipment to safely mobilize each patient earlier and often. The four steps of BMAT include assessing the patient to see if they are able to sit and shake, stretch, stand, and step. We hope you enjoyed this brief instructional video on how to protect patients by mobilizing earlier and often. For information on the license addressing intellectual property, copyright, and permission to use, or for in-depth training on BMAT or LECO equipment, contact your Hill-ROM representative or visit us at hillrom.com. Thank you.